I'm very concerned about any speech on behalf of an elected official that undermines credibility in our, in our economic system. And I, I, I don't agree that uh, members of parliament should be meddling in the Bank of Canada. The Bank of Canada has long-term plans. The, in Parliament, their budgets are of a short-term nature. I respect the division of powers there. I respect um, the Bank of Canada having the capacity and their uh, their elect their uh, officials having the capacity to make long-term projections that are not based on partisanship. You know, every time there's debate, people look for formats that is going to give a balance between equal time, fair time, and a debate. And it was an unusual format. I mean, none of us expected the questions that were a more personal uh, level. So you do your best when you're on the stage to try to convey what it is that you want to propose. That's, I come into these debates trying to do that every time and say, at the end of the evening, I'd like folks to, you know, come away and say, well, this is what Mr. Chade would do if he becomes the leader. And, and that's what I believe in. But I did see something tonight that I have never, ever seen in a debate in my lifetime. Never, ever have I seen someone flip-flop on stage on something like abortion. I mean, Mr. Poiliev to flip-flop in one answer to the other is unprecedented on an issue like that. I've never seen that happen before. I think that says a lot about him. Well, frankly, I don't believe Mr. Poiliev is electable, particularly in, in suburban Canada. Uh, and these policies, these discriminatory policies still haunt the party. Look at the results in the last three federal elections in suburban Canada. We've been blown out for policies that um, Pierre Pauly have refused to, refuses to disavow. And some more recently, the vote where he refused to condemn hate against Muslims and Islamophobia, that was only a few years ago. And so, uh, unfortunately, uh, for Mr. Polyev, uh, his voting record and his past uh, make it very difficult for him to be a champion of religious freedom, which I believe is important if you're going to make breakthroughs in suburban Canada.